it's part of the game, though. I mean, you know, we've been blessed as an O-line the last couple of years to be relatively healthy, you know. And so O-line a lot of times are rotating guys with injuries and being banged up. So you're used to getting reps with, with different guys. In practice, it's not the ones get every single rep together. You know, J-Mac had been getting reps at left tackle all year just because in case of emergency and, and White had been in there too. And it's one of the things, the more you play together, the better you're going to get. But I don't think there was a continuity thing where we we're like, man, we haven't worked enough together on this block. Like, let, we got to figure that out. I thought we were, we were prepared enough to go out there and play. Joe, it's easy to talk about guys needing to be more accountable and committed. Are you seeing it? Are you feeling it? Yeah, I feel like um, there's a focus around here. There's an urgency, you know, that we got to make something happen. And it, it's one of those things where, you know, everybody here, you know, we're grown men, we're this, we're that. But there's something to be said in meetings if you're taking the right notes, if you're prepared. Because everybody goes out there and plays hard. You know, it's not a thing as like, are we playing hard enough? Are we going hard enough? Are we doing the right things on the field? But it's how you prepare through the week. And are guys taking the right notes? Are guys focused in meetings? Are guys reviewing the practice enough? Are they watching enough film on their own? And those are the things that we've continued to have to uptick to make sure we're ready to go. Because, you know, you never know what you're going to get in the game. You don't know what surprise, what they're going to bring. And, um, but I have seen improvement. And I think guys are buying in. I think there's an urgency here. And, you know, eventually we got to start winning some games. That's that's the goal of this team. we got to win this week and go 1-0. Oh. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Joel Batonio. Eventually you do have to start winning yeah, games. I would think instead of having the coach say, it's on me, it's on me, it's on me. Um, Batonio, you know, you don't know who the linemen are until they do something wrong. And unfortunately, he uh, his leg got in the way of that uh, ball, which turned into be a fumble by Nick Chubb. And uh, that was quite unfortunate and set the wheels spinning. Yeah, and didn't he have a hold less on a big screen play yeah, so. that could have helped? And also, I believe he missed the block on uh, Guy when Guy burst in and picked off the, uh, you know, the pop pass, the underhand pop pass. So it was not a good day for uh, Joel Batonio. However, Justin McCray got his first start with the Browns, and I thought he did pretty well. Let's take a look at the, the stats on this one. One sack was allowed. He had four quarterback pressures allowed and one false start. Not bad for the first outing of the season. You'd, you'd like better, right? I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't think his PFF grading for one was yeah. very good, but uh, yeah, they got issues on the line. But uh, listen, the line to me, the offensive line, didn't lose the game on Sunday against the Patriots. The offensive line was good enough. wasn't great, but good enough to win. Imagine if John Dorsey gave up a first rounder or a second rounder for Trent Williams, and he comes here and fails the physical as he did in Washington. Imagine, imagine that. Yeah, well, obviously <laughs> the trade gets reneged at that point. But um, you heard rumors that the Redskins were wanting players, right? Such as Denzel oh, they were Ward. Yeah, they were bargaining in the papers. Come on now. I mean, who knows what kind of operation Daniel Snyder's running? Fortunate for the Browns, Daniel Snyder is owning the, the Redskins, so that the the uh, the bar is lower in Washington than it is here. But uh, right now, I mean, listen, the Browns, you have zero. Well, I shouldn't put up one. Zero excuses Sunday. None. I mean, Brandon Allen is starting for the Broncos. Yeah. 